Um, yeah, that's really the only thing I've got to my credit is uh, being an athlete. So just wanting to understand that from a viewpoint uh, perspective as I, as I talk here, that uh, you know, I don't have the background that uh, a lot of people in this room have, uh, although I get to interact with a lot of those folks uh, through the years. So, um, Justin asked me before, uh, before this started, he said, what are you, you going to talk about today, Chris? And I said, well, I said, I'm just going to come out and make fun of everybody. I'll make fun of myself too, of course, but uh, there, there's a reason for that, and I think it will tie into um, where I'm going uh, with the discussion as far as the latter part. So um, I'm going to start with uh, a story. So we're made of a story. I'm going to hold this possible awesome advice while I. <laughs> so let's say uh, you're out, uh, you're in the clinic, and you've got uh, someone that comes in. They've got some shoulder pain dysfunction. And you reach into your bag of tricks. Stuff you weren't here in school, part of RTP. Um, so you, you reach in and you do, uh, you know, it, it could be any number of things. So when you do some corrective exercises, uh, maybe you, uh, you work on uh, some uh, DNS stuff to work on uh, some scapular stabilization, get that uh, work on that shoulder. Uh, maybe you do some, who knows, uh, dry needling. Maybe a yap it, uh, any of those things, right? Or that person comes to me and I say, "Well, let, let, let's let's work on that shoulder problem with this uh, with the shoulder rock here." Okay. Um, I saw a few people in here with some CrossFit shirts on or sweaters. Uh, so you go into a, a CrossFit gym and, uh, and they go, "Well, it looks like you got you're really lacking some mobility. That's your problem. You're the strength athlete, and uh, you got the strength, but." have to have mobility as well at the same time. Like mobility is the, the answer. Okay? So all these are the answers, right? And uh, they they all have an effect. They all have a positive effect. Okay? But I challenge you that you haven't done your job. Not yet. At least for the athlete from that perspective. <clears throat> so it feels good though. That person comes in, they've got pain, they're not working right. And you perform your magic. You know, we, we've all done it. I, as a trainer, I do my piece. We, you know, clinicians, you do your piece, and it feels great. That person feels great. They're, they walk out of that, that office 100. percent I mean, for you guys, yeah. yes, thanks. Uh, so they walk out feeling good. You've done your job. You know, that oh, feels great. But we'll, we'll jump back to. It. I'll, I'll hit on the mobility piece here again for a minute. Uh, I'm holding the device that some consider. Yeah, a mobility device. Um, it's really popular to talk about in the strength world right now because some people go, well, let's, you've got to have that balance as the mobility and your strength, and you've got to do that because that's the fix for you. The problem, there's a problem, there's the pain, that dysfunction, that lack of mobility, all of that is an output. It's an output of what? The person's movement. Okay? The person's movement is what's priority. That's where it drives a lot of this. Outside of, let's say, an accident, you know, someone gets hit by a car and they fall down, all that sort of thing. But um, we're talking from a lot of perspective. They came in to the gym doing their sporting activity or whatever it is, got that shoulder dysfunction under load doing a movement. Our job is to help understand their movement and fix that movement so that it eliminates that reoccurrence them coming back into the office over and over again, right? Um, so that's, that's, you know, that, that, is the, that is the key thing. That's what drives me here, and that, like I said, that, uh, let's say, I can say, you know, across the gym, the trainers working on mobility. Why are, we, why are we getting that decrease in mobility? The mobility is the fix, it's an output marker. So, quality movement is key. It's a big driver for everything. And that's where we need to get that person to where that, especially as an athlete, so where they're doing that movement that caused the dysfunction in the first place with load, but without pain. So that's stuff I teach. Uh, that's what we go through. That's what we're going to go through here in a minute is how to move properly under load. I'm not going to cover running or things like that. I'm going to talk about stuff that I know, squatting, deadlifting, bench pressing. That's all I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> life simple in my world. So. 
But, uh, you know, with the same principle, they apply to everything. Uh, a lot of it. So what we've done um, in our facility is we've taken a lot of the DNS philosophy and apply those to how we coach you and perform these basic loading movements. Um, we've seen a significant decrease in number of injuries based on this, and also a significant increase in the amount of load that we were able to handle and recover from. So, um, I think I'm going to turn back that. I see these people every day. Um, so, I want to talk about uh, how, you know, how, how do we teach that. And there's, there's a difference. You've got to understand you know, some regressions and progressions, and this relates to a conversation that Philip and I have uh, no, and I've had over the years in regards to um, a remedial squat pattern versus a what we call a performance squat pattern. So this is again we get back into the you know the, the clinic or the you know the trainer working with someone that's you know in pain because of this injury or uh, the like, and we're teaching them maybe the BM extension here as we move into being a spinal protective pattern, not the pattern that we're going to want to be to increase. For a straight path loop. Yeah, and I'm speaking of straight path loops. Okay. So, um, because that is going to end up causing more pain in the future. So, I'm going to walk through some of the principles and then how we coach and view it um, for. We'll, we'll cover the squat, deadlift, and uh, I'll do the shoulder rock for, uh, for shoulder movement integration with the core as well. Give me a good time. So, so what are the basic principles? Got, we need to transfer almost all scoring applications. We're transferring power from the hips somewhere distally, hands, shoulders, uh, either throwing, barbell, what have you. This is our biggest power. This is we're able to develop the most power through a proper hip connection. Boom, boom. Okay? Or some manner of that. Then we want a solid medium to transfer that through. So we've got to have a brace core. We've got to have the shoulders plugged properly into that. We need to be rooted to the ground. So again, this is going to apply to nearly most sports that I'm familiar with. So you're rooted to the ground. 